Hey, Jared here at XPro Heli. I want to take a few minutes today and share some of my own personal tips and tricks with you. The first off is pre-flight. Always, always, always take your battery tester and plug it in. Make sure that all of your cells are working properly. Next up is I always spin my motors before flight. Listen to them and see if any of them are making noise or if one's just not spinning at all. If you listen closely, this one here is making noise as opposed to that one. So I know that I've got a bearing going out probably due to a uh, previous crash. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that one, but it is still spinning fairly uh, freely. So I am gonna go ahead and continue to fly that one. Next up is I do flip the XP2 over and I check to make sure that the C rings and the little shaft stops are in place. You want to make sure that they're nice and secure. If not, you could drop a motor mid-air. You definitely don't want that to happen. All right, the next tip that I have for you is a bright colors. I go with marine and aviation style, which is red is on your left, green is on your right. Now with that, serves several purposes. One is um, orientation. When it's flying up high, I can definitely see where it's at. And the next thing is underneath, I use water noodles for flotation purposes. It's a good investment that you've spent. You definitely don't want to be dropping it in the water and having it sink to the bottom. So be sure to check out the flotation video that we've made here at X Pro Heli, and that'll give you some additional information as far as flotation and how to put that together. When it comes to actual flying, I like to fly in manual mode to capture all of my video shots. The reason for that is your manual mode is going to give you the smoothest flight. Of course, you have an additional option such as auto mode, also known as altitude mode or attitude mode. Or if your unit happens to have GPS, you can fly in GPS also. Uh, with those two modes, with auto mode and GPS mode, it's not going to give you as smooth a footage because it's always trying to auto level itself and auto correct. So manual mode when you're flying and capturing smooth video. Along that same note, as far as capturing smooth video, you want to try to stay off your sticks as much as possible. You really want your quadcopter going into a natural drift, and that way it's going to, again, grab the smoothest shot possible, and it's not trying to autocorrect, or you're not trying to correct it with your, uh, with your controller. Now, once you are comfortable with those smooth straight shots, you know, go ahead and put a little spin, put a little pizzazz in your video footage. By doing so, you'll be able to pick up a shot like this and put something to it. Like, this beautiful corner lot is situated on a quiet cul-de-sac, just blocks from the elementary and middle school, on the north end of town, with majestic mountain views. Now see, didn't that turn out really nice? I thought so, because I'm the one that filmed it, so I hope you thought so as well. Now when it comes to a nice smooth shot, being able to do a little rotation like that, you do want to jump into your radio and change some of your settings, uh, your expo settings to be uh, specific. And I'll show you how that's done right now. And what this does is it actually changes your stick position so it's not so touchy at the zero axis. It actually takes it, and I, I set mine at 25, and the reason for that is so for the first 25% it's not going to be as touchy as it was originally at zero. So uh, you'll notice that as you start to push your stick out, it's going to give you that nice gradual movement and then start to increase. So that's really going to help you with your rotation and those smoother shots. All right, I hope that those tips and tricks were helpful. Grab your XP2, your quadcopter, whatever you fly, get out there, go fly, have a good time. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below and we'll do what we can to help you out. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out XPro Heli's website at www.xproheli.com. Thanks, guys.